This is Anthony Morales along with my partner. Chris Farbelin. This is ESPN Radio on Channel 101.3. Today we're going to be talking about the NBA Finals, the NFL Draft and Free Agency, and the NBA Draft and Free Agency. What do you think about the Finals this year? I mean, they were pretty interesting. There was a lot of intensity. Teams were they were getting into it in fights. Steve Crow telling his officials. But this is huge for Kevin Durant's legacy for his career because down the road, this could determine where, where he ranks among an all-time tier. If he's top or just kind of okay, a ring is huge for him. He was phenomenal in these entire finals. There was no one close to being the MVP like Kevin Durant was. This is, and if the Warriors now start to base their dynasty or not, if they keep this up, they're a ring away, maybe a finals appearance away from being called a dynasty. All our best players are under 20, are under 30. We got a great coach, great fan base, everything's going great for them. But it's also good for LeBron's legacy too. So what do you think about LeBron? How does it affect LeBron? I think that this will affect LeBron badly in his record in the finals. Now he's only three and five when Jordan went six and zero. He only has three rings and he's getting up there in age. And there's a bunch of young teams trying to form super teams and he's not gonna be able to stop them. I think that um, come free agency, he might sign with the Lakers. Do you think that the referees um, made too many calls on the in the finals or didn't make enough calls? I feel like the refs did a fine job. And the end of the day, I mean, people were blaming the refs for game four. The Cavs just were phenomenal offensively. They outplayed the Warriors. The Warriors outplayed them games one and two. Game three, they were pretty close. The Warriors got hot at the end. Game five, the Warriors outplayed them. I don't think we can land the refs on these finals. The Warriors are just a better team overall. LeBron knew it. Ty Lue knew it. All right, who do you think is going to be the biggest free agent in the NBA this year? Well, it depends on what LeBron wants to do, because if LeBron chooses to move, meaning move, or move, then he's going to be the biggest free agent. But the most real, the biggest one that we know is going to be big, I think Paul George. I mean, he was, before his injury in that Olympic qualifier, he was, had back-to-back East Coast Finals appearances, star player, nearly beat the Cavs quite a few times, actually, in, these, in the first round of the playoffs. I could see LeBron trying to get into Cleveland, to get LeBron to stay in Cleveland, and keep that team competitive there, and the Patriots will Kevin Love in compensation, but Paul George wants to go to his hometown of LA. Oh, got a first caller. Hey guys, how's it going? Good. Good. How about you? I'm well. I am a big fan of the show. Just calling in about free agency. I heard you talking about that. And I just wanted your opinion. I'm, I'm a big Heat fan. I wanted your opinion on Gordon Hayward and where he's going to go. Is he going to try to join a super team, make one? Or is he going to try to join the Miami Heat? Because I've been hearing rumors about him. What's your take on Gordon Hayward? I think Gordon Hayward's going to land wherever he can get a max contract. He's been playing for the Jazz and he hasn't been getting that much money. He's as recently he's been playing well, I think he wants to get some money now. Yeah, I can definitely see that. He definitely deserves his paydays, uh, establish himself as one of the stars in the NBA. So thank you guys. Uh, thank you for having me, and uh, enjoy the rest of your show. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. All right, what do you, think, what do you think about the NFL draft this year? I think I give credit to 49ers. This is a first-year GM of John Lynch. They did an incredible job. They got the Bears to trade away their whole draft. They trade up one pick, Mitch Trubisky. They could have taken him at three. I think it was an awful decision what the Bears did. Could have waited and took Trubisky at three. But a credit to the Niners. And another credit is, I'm going to take give credit to the Browns. There's so much pressure to take a quarterback higher than they should have. They stuck with it. Took Miles Garrett, phenomenal pass rusher. Some say he's the best prospect since Julius Peppers 15 years ago. This kid's got all the potential. And another guy I'm really happy for is Deshaun Watson. He worked hard. He stuck, He carried that Clemson team to two straight national titles. He would have won that first one if the Clemson special teams could recover an onside kick out of the sec, the start of the second half. But he was phenomenal twice against Bama. Phenomenal playoff games, ACC championships against FSU, against Louisville. He earned the right to be able to go to a team that has a great defense, best defense player in J.D. Watt, DeAndre Hopkins, Lamar Jack, or Lamar Miller and a great quarterback coach in Bill O'Brien. I heard that you point out you liked what the Browns did about getting Miles here. What do you think about them drafting Jabril Peppers? I'm like, can you show what Jabril Peppers is? He's a great college player. 
but you just okay at a lot of positions. You got to find a position where you can really be great. You can't play. You can't. He's not going to do all those positions at this level. I get they had Terrell Pryor that can do that with him some, but you don't have to find a position like safety or maybe linebacker where he can stick it and he needs to be great at that position. What position do you think he'll be able to thrive in this year? I mean, he's got the spiel of of a safety. I think he should be a safety. That's his primary position. He should. He needs to not worry about what he does on offense anymore, being a running, being a running back or anything. He needs to focus on being a safety. For that Browns team, they're building defensively. That team could, in a few years, be one of the better defensive teams in our league. Thank you for tuning into the show. This is Anthony Morales along with my partner, Chris Farblin. This is ESPN Radio. Thank you.